Hi, I'm Rami Tamimi. Today I'm going to show you how to measure building corners using a technique known as prismless shots with our surveying total station. Now when I say a prism shot or a prism reading, I'm referring to this prism. This is what we use to collect data. We hold this rod over a point and the total station takes a reading at the prism. But if I want to measure the corners of a building, I won't be able to use this prism to find the actual corner. I'm going to actually have to measure to the physical corner. Measuring to this corner will give us the actual position of the building. And that's why we use a prismless shot to find this corner to get the actual location of the building. We can do this using the surveying total station. I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do in order to achieve this. If you enjoy surveying, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any of the latest content that I release. Now to start we're going to need to establish a control network around the building. I'm going to be using these stakes and placing them around the building so that every time we want to capture a certain area we can set up our total station on each of these points. It's important that we set these points in locations that we can see from other areas because we're going to need to reference between these control points before taking any measurements on the building. I use the drone to capture this aerial image of my house. And looking here, I can start to determine in what areas I want to set my control points. Again, I need to make sure that I can see between each of these control points because I need to relate back to each one through a back sight. This will make more sense once I set up the total station. Let's start by setting the first control point here. I like this spot because I can see the front yard from here as well as all the way to the end of our backyard. We're going to go ahead and go to the front yard and set another point that we can see from this first point. Now in this area right here, I can see the point that I just set, but I can also see where I want to set the third point. So right here is probably a good spot to set our second point. Make it nice and visible there. I think I'm gonna set my third point here. Here I can see the second point that we set over there, but it's important that I'm going to be able to see the fourth point that I'm going to set, which is gonna be somewhere in that area. Kind of chipped the stake there a little bit, but that's okay. Now this last point I want to set needs to be between the third point that we just set and the first point that we set. So looking right here, I can see both points. So this is a good spot. Now after setting all the control points, I'm going to be taking an RTK observation using my GNSS receiver so that we have known coordinates on these points. I'll go over GNSS receivers in another video, but understand for this video that all of these control points have known coordinates. So we know where every point is because we have coordinates on them. So now we're going to set up our total station over the first control point. Now if you don't know how to set up a surveying total station, what I'm going to recommend you do is click on the video in the top right corner. This is going to show you exactly what goes into setting up a total station on a tripod. After you watch that video, come back to this video and continue to see the process of capturing building corners using prismless shots on your total station. Now remember you want to make sure that you're set up right over the point. So you want to make all the adjustments necessary to ensure that you're over your first control point. Once you've set up your total station, the next thing to do is to take your prism and set up a back sight on control point number four. Now the reason we're going to be doing this is we're establishing a baseline and orienting our project to the control network. This is the reason why I was saying you need to make sure you can see between the control points because we're always going to be back sighting the last point we were set up on, or in this case, the last point. Okay, perfect. Now it's not important to measure the instrument height or the rod height because we're not taking any elevations. All of our shots are going to be horizontal shots. So the heights of our instruments and equipment 
doesn't matter. Now, if you are trying to see how to measure building heights, I made a separate video, linked it in the corner if you want to watch it. This goes through the process of setting up a total station and measuring vertically using prismless shots. A little bit different, uh, this is all horizontal. Okay, what we want to do now is measure our back sight and zero out the angle to establish our baseline. And I'm adjusting my viewfinder, here's the prism. And as you can see, I found the prism, so I'm now going to sight it. Okay, so it did measure the distance and this angle right here doesn't actually mean anything because we need to zero this angle out. So I'm gonna go ahead and zero out the angle. And there we go, now the angle is zero from point one all the way to point four. Now after all this preparation, we can finally start to take our prismless shots on the building. Now because our control network is set up in a clockwise fashion, it only makes sense to take the shots on the building in a clockwise fashion as well. I like to start at one corner and work my way around and anything I can't see indicates that I need to move to the next setup. Now it looks like this corner is gonna be a little bit difficult to see on this setup, so we'll probably catch this one at the last setup. This corner right here is very visible and probably a good place to start. So we're gonna go ahead and get this corner, the inside corner, and this outside corner right here. These three corners will be the first three shots we take at our first setup. Now some of you might be wondering why I don't wanna get this back corner right here. The reason for this is because there's a down spot that's in the way and I'm not actually gonna see the physical corner. Plus, I know I'm gonna have a much cleaner view of that corner on our second setup. So I'm gonna save it for the next setup. And I'm going to read the first corner, fine tune our location and measure. Okay, now I'm going to read the second corner which is all the way over here and I'm going to measure. And now I'm going to read the fine final corner that I can see from this setup and measure. Great, now that I've recorded the first three corners of the building, I'm going to sight the back sight one more time and then I'm going to move the instrument. Okay, and now that I've found my back sight, it's crucial that I check my horizontal angle and make sure that it's still set to zero. And when I look here, I can see that my horizontal angle is at three seconds, which is very, very close to zero. So I know that my setup was good and I am good to move to the next point. All right, now we're gonna be occupying point number two. Okay, great. Now after moving the total station to the second point, we have to bring the back sight to the first point. Now while we're occupying point number two, we're going to be back sighting point number one. Okay, here's point number one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and zero out the angle just like I did last time. All right, now that we've established our orientation, positioning ourselves on point number two and back sighting point number one, we can start to take prismless shots on the building. Now we already captured that far corner over there. We did that in the first setup. This corner was the one that I was referring to would be a lot easier to capture at the second setup because of this down spot that's in the way. After capturing this corner, you might realize that the next corner we need is gonna be behind this tree. In this instance, we're gonna use our field assistant that's gonna move the leaves out of the way so that we can see the corner. Finally, we should be able to see this first corner of the garage. Uh, after that, the back corner is gonna be a little difficult, so we'll save that for the third setup. All right, let's begin. I'm gonna start by measuring this first corner here. Measure. Okay, good. Our next corner, we're gonna need our field assistant to move the leaves so that we can actually see the corner. All right, thank you very much. That looks good. Good. And finally, we're gonna get this last garage corner right here. And take the shot. All right, we're good. We're gonna read our back sight one more time and then move our instrument to the third control point. And it looks like we're hitting zero, so we're good and we can move to the next point. We're gonna set up and occupy our total station on point number three. And now I'm gonna set up our back sight on point number two. Now that our total station is all set up, we're gonna back sight point number two. That looks good. Take a reading, zero out the angle. 
Good. Now we can continue taking prismless shots on our building. In the last setup, we got the first corner of the garage. For this setup, we're gonna get this corner of the garage, but unfortunately, it's the only corner we can clearly see. Everything else is gonna be captured with the last setup. That's okay though, because we can still get one corner and then leave the rest of the corners for the final setup. So I'm gonna find this corner and I'm going to measure. Good. Now that we've measured that, we'll go back to our back site, verify that it's still an angle of zero, and move to the fourth point. Measure. Our angle is almost zero degrees. It's a couple seconds, no issue. All right, so I'm gonna take down the total station and move it to the next point, and you're gonna take the back site and move it to this point. Let's go. Okay. Okay, so I am setting up the back site here on point number three, and he's over there setting up the total station on point number four. All right, this is our last setup. We're set up and occupying point number four, and we're back sighting point number three. All right, I found the prism, and now I'm going to zero out the angle, and now our angle is set to zero as we back sight point number three and occupy four. And now all that's left to do is to measure all of the remaining corners. So I'm gonna get the back of the garage. We're gonna get just left of the back of the garage door. And then finally, we're gonna get this last corner of the house. We did not see this corner. This was the first corner that I said we would get at the last setup. Here we are on the last setup, and we can clearly see that last corner. Okay, and measure. And now as a final check, I'm going to site control point three to make sure that our angle is still at zero. Okay, there it is. And we are at five seconds, which means our angle is good. And that's it, using a four point control network, we were able to capture prismless shots with our survey total station to find the location of this building. In the next video, I'm gonna import this data into AutoCAD Civil 3D so that we can visualize what we just did out here in the field. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to like the video. Also, leave me a comment telling me what you thought was interesting or what you would like to see in the future. Be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel so you don't miss any of the latest content that I release. I also just started a private Facebook group and I encourage you all to join it. You can find the link to the Facebook group in the description. You can also email me, my emails in the description and all of my social media links are below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.